the command is peer lifecycle chain code query installed so it will give the installed chain codes all the installed chain code on that peer uh, so we have set peer 0 or 1 globals okay, we, are, we are running the same script yeah we got install chain code on the peer package id this one just we have installed a fabcar one okay the next step is approve for my organization so here we have two organization so we have to execute this function two times it means i have written two different functions right now but i will let you know uh, approve for organization one what exactly we are doing here setting peer zero or one peer lifecycle chain code approve for my organization orderer orderer tls client uh, ca file channel id name version and you need to require we have to provide this package id and sequence id so package id where from where we are getting from the above function so we have to call this function as well for approving so we call this functions again we are calling this function approve for my organizations and query install is required for capturing the package id okay now we will be calling these two functions query installed and approve for my organization yeah so i am running these two functions in a script query installed and approve for my organizations so first one queried and second one is getting executed yeah so we have approved successfully for the organization one organization one this you can see transaction id this one is committed with status valid okay we have successfully approved query install is not required right now next one is the chain code commit readiness we have to check if the chain code is ready to commit a uh, ready for commit the sufficient endorsements are available or not in this function what exactly we are doing our uh, peer lifecycle chain code check commit readiness and providing the channel id name version sequence and we uh, we want output as a json and in it require also we have to provide the flag yeah so we got this response actually we want two approvals from organization 1 and organization 2 just before some time we have approved for organization 1 so that's why it's showing approval as a true and for organization 2 we did not approve it so we will be approving for organization 2 now and after that again we will check commit readiness okay so again i'm uncommitting this query install because that would be required for capturing the package id and package id is required for approving the chain code so for the organization 2 we have set this globals for the organization 2 and again it's the same command for organization 2 we have already created a channel the, we have a special video on that creating the channel and we i already run that create channel dot sh and my channel is already created that's why i'm able to execute this command successfully if you haven't create uh, run the create channel command then this com this function would get failed so make sure that you have you are running that for executing any functions inside the deploy chain code dot ss just at a time you can execute create chain code dot ss file and later on you can jump into this file so for organization 2 so right now we are approving for the organization 2 yeah we got a valid status code with the transaction id now we can check now i can comment this query install because the package id is not required further now we will check the commit readiness again So this time we we should get a response. This kind of response true for both organization.
yeah this is the approvals organization one and organization two for both organization we have approved the chain code the next step is committing the chain code definition yeah so we have to commit this chain code definition and the command for that is peer lifecycle chain code commit orderer we have to provide the tls it's it would be easier to read so make sure that you are providing the peer addresses for the indexing peer 7051 local host peer addresses and their tls root cert files so now we are committing the chain code definition so i'm saving this yeah i'm clearing the terminal commit chain code definition function got triggered uh, i think i haven't written anything yeah still we got a response uh, committed with the status code valid so we have successfully committed on the each pair 7051 9051 next one is the query committed so we are querying the committed chain codes again invoking the same script for the query committed function yeah we got a response committed chain code definition for chain code fabcore on my channel version 1 sequence 1 endorsement plugin escc validation plugin vscc approvals for both organization we got approval so commi query committed also we got a response the next one is chain code Invoke initialization. So I could have done it earlier as well, but I forgot to do it. Yeah. So now it's time to initialize initialize the chain code. So for this purpose, we have to invoke this command peer chain code invoke orderer would orderer TLS channel name name of the chain code and the peer address. Uh, these are the endorsing pairs 7051 I can show you. And final is each init. We have to provide this for in, uh, initialization of the chain code that is in kind of instantiation and providing argument as the empty this will create the instantiate the chain code this will instantiate the chain code successfully you know result status is 200 so we have initialization success uh, we have initialized the chain code successfully okay. so next one so once we initialize the chain code so we can see the chain code instances instantiation docker ps so I'm maximizing this docker ps so you can see here for two endorsing pair peer 0 r1 peer 0 r2 these are the endorsing pair and this chain code got instantiated on these peers so invoke is successful so for the invoking the chain code i have written a different method for the di uh, different calling i have written the different commands for the different uh, methods so right now we will be executing this one peer chain code invoke and initialize, fun initialize function is there in our smart contract
I will show you exactly. Yeah, this function initialize laser function is there. So what exactly is doing? It's adding different car into the laser. So function name is initialize laser and arguments are empty. For this function, arguments are not necessary because in function we are not asking for the arguments and we are not doing anything with the argument just we want initialize laser function name so we will be executing this part so now we are invoking through the command line again I am not using the CLI here deploy SS successfully chain code invoke successfully how we can see that uh, just let me sh let me show you docker ps okay so check any doc so check any cause database take this one let me minimize this yeah this cows db 0 1 2 3 the four cows dbs are there so we will select cows db 0 it is exported on 5984 okay i will show you local host 5984 and this is the path 5984 slash underscore utils so you can see our cows database here because it is exported you can see the GUI and you can select this on my channel underscore fabcar this is the current state database so all the assets will have the latest state in this database I will show the blockchain as well but before that uh, just before some time we have invoked initialize laser chain code initialize laser function where this 10 asset we have added make toyota ford hyundai volkswagen tesla total 10 car we have added okay here you can see car zero color blue make toyota model owner and version you can see exactly make model color blue owner to moco this is the owner so you can see here this is the invocation of the function what about the query so we want to query so we'll in invoke that function as well querying for specific car So what exactly we are querying? We are querying car zero asset. So we'll get information about the car zero. Here, deploy chinko.sh. Yeah, we got a response. This one, color blue, make Toyota old in this way we have successfully executed all the 10 steps and interacted with the blockchain network so in the later video we will be implementing the apis and we will dig dive into the in this way we have implemented the total 10 steps and in the later session we will be deep dive into the api part that's it for this video in case if you are any if you are facing any issue just let me know and one more thing um, i would be happy if i get a feedback uh, if i am done wrong somewhere i would be happy to correct it and your feedback would be valuable for me thank you so much stay tuned for the more update